Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Mike here from Comp3 Interactive and today we're going to take a look at how to shut me up. Now there's nothing worse than loading up a game, realising it's got really annoying music or maybe you're just in public just to find that there's no mute button on the game. Now some people might just be saying, why don't you turn your phone's volume down? Shut up. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to make a quick and easy muting script which is going to persist in between our game sessions and remember our player's preference. So what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to go ahead and create a new C-sharp script and we'll just call this Mute Manager. This would generally be in your normal volume settings for your game but with this being a tutorial I'm just going to give it its own script. We'll reload that and we'll get rid of just the update for now. So the first thing we're going to need is a private bool is muted. So what this is for, this will just serve as a trigger for whether or not the player wants the music to be muted or not. And just for now, in our start method, we're going to set that to false. So currently in our game, we don't have anything attached. If we play it, we can see we have these dank tunes, but we're on a buzz. We're in public. We don't want everyone hearing this. So we'll give you the option to stop it. So all we're going to need in here is a public void mute pressed and we'll hook this up to our mute button. And what we want to do, we want to first set is muted equal to the opposite of the current is muted by using the exclamation point. So that toggles our local variable. What about the actual volume control of the game? Well, we can easily do this by accessing the audio listener inside your game. So we can do audio listener dot pause, and we can set that equal to the value of is muted. So that should toggle between muted and unmuted whenever we press the button. Now we can test this out really quickly if we just attach our mute manager to the canvas select our mute button, add our on click event, drag in our canvas and mute pressed. So now if we go ahead and play the game we should be able to toggle between mute and unmute. And we can. Just like that. But now what about keeping it persisting between game sessions? Well, this is going to be a perfect time to use player prefs, but as everybody knows, player prefs doesn't allow you to save a boolean value. It allows string, int and float. So what are we going to do about that? And so we can keep this on one line, we can use a ternary operator. Now what a ternary operator is, it's the question mark, and what it allows you to do, it allows you to pass an argument in on its left hand side, followed by a question mark, and then two values for whether or not that is true or false. So, knowing that now, we can set playerpress.setInt and we can call this muted and instead of giving it a value of one or zero ourselves, what we can do, we can check is muted question mark and if we are muted we'll set that to zero or else we'll set it, uh, sorry, we'll set it to one or else we'll set it to zero. So now what we can do in our start method, instead of just setting is muted to false, what we can go ahead and do is set it to playerpreps.getInt and we'll get a muted int and we'll set it is muted if is muted equals one. Now that might look a little bit confusing at first, I'll just do a bit of a recap. So what we're going to do, we're going to set a playerpreps muted value, which is going to have to be an integer value, to whether or not is muted is true. So if we are muted we'll get a 1, if we're not muted we'll get a 0. So in our start method we're going to set is muted to true if our integer is 1. And then we'll go ahead and just copy this line of code into our start method so we start as muted or not. So we should be able to jump over and test this out now. 
We see I've muted that. I'll back out of this and reload the game. And we shouldn't have audio when we load. And we don't. But if we click this, it'll come back. Reload again, and this time we will have it from the start. Perfect. Simple, easy, keeps your users very happy. Make sure you do this. And with that, I'll see you again very soon. If you've learned something today, then drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also find us over on social media for more bite-sized Unity and C-Sharp tips. I've been Mike for Comp3 Interactive, and I'll see you again soon.